Jacob was part of this, uh, this church. He sometimes sat where the children are seated and sometimes on this side. So he participated in every detail of the church activities and we remain ever grateful to a person like that. And indeed, when God calls us, when God gives us opportunity to leave, God calls us for a mission. But this day marking one year of his absence, I'm beginning to come to terms with the fact that he has indeed gone to be with the Lord. I come before the church, the family, the friends of my late father to continue to spread words of hope, words of encouragement. Even if I may not be strong enough to carry this cross, God will carry it for me. I maintained his driver. I maintained his chief bodyguard. I maintained his secretaries. I maintained his personal assistant. I maintained the staff. And people came and said, you, you're a stupid man. How? I say that I chase a bodyguard and I, I get another bodyguard. Do I own an army? So we need to learn to treat each other with respect. And I learned that from Jacob. And I'm really glad. And we gave the vow that through the foundation which I am privileged to chair, Jacob's children, because the best investment I can give them is education. Jacob's children will pursue their educational interests to the highest level they can afford. Bye.